So for this question then, we've got to take this fraction here, express it in partial fractions, finding the constants a, b and c. Well, what we could do is multiply both sides by this denominator here, x minus 3, 1 minus 2x. And if we do that, we're therefore going to have on the left 1 plus 11x minus 6x squared. And when it comes to multiplying the a with this denominator, we're going to get a times x minus 3 multiplied with 1 minus 2x. When it comes to this term here, we're just going to have b multiplied by the 1 minus 2x. So b times the 1 minus 2x. That x minus 3 would cancel out with that x minus 3 there. And for this last term, multiply it with x minus 3, 1 minus 2x. Then the 1 minus 2x's would cancel and you'll just be left with c times the x minus 3. Okay, so all we need to do now is just pick appropriate values for x. And it's good to just make each of these brackets equal to 0. So if we were to take this bracket and make it equal to 0, then x would equal 3. So let's start with that. Let x equal 3. And if we do that, we end up with 3 substituted in here. That will give us 1 plus 33 minus 54. And that leaves me with minus 20. And if we substitute 3 into the right-hand side here, this will be 0, so this term goes. This last term will be 0, so that goes. Just putting 3 in here is going to give me 1 minus 6. So that's going to be negative 5b. OK, minus 5b then. And if I divide both sides by minus 5, you can see that b turns out to be 4. So that's good. We've got one value there. Need another value for x. And if I make this bracket equal to 0 by choosing x equals a half, then that's going to make this a lot simpler. So we'll put let x equal a half. You can take any value you like, but you're trying to avoid simultaneous equations, remember. OK, so by choosing these values here, we can avoid simultaneous equations. By letting x equal a half, substitute it into here, you should find you get 5. And putting a half into here, that term goes to 0. This term goes to 0. So we've just got a half minus 3, which is minus 2 and a half. Better to write it as a top-heavy fraction, minus 5 over 2. So it's minus 5 over 2, and that would be multiplied by c. And I can see now that if I multiply both sides by 2, I'm going to end up with 10 equals minus 5c. And if I divide both sides by minus 5, I end up with c equaling minus 2. Now, as I said earlier, you can use any value of x that you like. And we've now made each of these brackets 0 by choosing these two values here. And I can pick, say, any value of x. I'm just going to choose x equaling 0. So we'll just say let x equal 0. I feel that's going to be a quick, easy value to use. But try it with other values if you like. So if we let x equal 0, then we're left with 1 here. So we've got 1 equals, and put 0 in here, we end up with minus 3 times 1, so that's minus 3, times that a, so that's minus 3a. And 0 in here just gives us b, so it's plus b, and 0 in here gives me minus 3c. And I've already got the values for b and c, so I might as well substitute them in. And putting the value of b in as 4 and c in as minus 2 here, I'm going to get minus 3 times minus 2, which is going to be plus 6. So I've got 10 here. Subtract 10 from both sides. Or actually, I'm going to add 3a to both sides. So I'm going to end up with 3a equals, and I'm going to subtract the 1 from both sides. So 10 minus 1 is 9, and clearly 
a is going to equal 3. And so there are my three values then for a, b and c. So I hope that's been useful for you and brings us to the end of this video.